RIT now has a new lab dedicated to the science of measurement known as metrology. A local company donated equipment to the program to help improve manufacturing skills in an effort to connect students with in-demand jobs. Time Warner Cable News reporter Wendy Mills explains. RIT mechanical engineer Jasmine Fon is focusing her future career in manufacturing. She's already completed three co-ops, one with Toyota, two with Tesla Motors. We have a lot of labs where we get to be hands-on with this equipment, and um, I really want to be in manufacturing and get out there and see how things work and things are built, and I really like that. Fawn is expanding her engineering skills with some of the most modern precision measurement equipment available. <laughs> Quality Vision International, a global automated measurement systems company, just donated $175,000 of measurement equipment to RIT's new metrology lab. QBI is headquartered in Rochester and has systems in 74 countries. Companies like Sony, LG, Rolls-Royce, GE, and Boeing. We, we need the, the students to have the opportunity to be educated. We need them to get the practical experience of what they might see in industry when they go into the workforce. Everything that's manufactured from this camera you're recording this on to the cell phones that we talk on, the cars we drive, the airplanes we fly in, everything has a precision component to it. QVI's three high-performance measuring systems at RIT can do things like measure 100 features of a part in four seconds, measures 3D pieces, slopes, and micro-features. I mean, talk about multiple parts, putting a car together with thousands and thousands of parts. All of these parts have to come together, and the right holes have to line up, and uh, things like that. So that's where this kind of measurement comes in. RIT students are now able to train on what the leaders in the industry are using now. For Fawn, she's hoping the time spent in the lab will land her her dream job. Yeah, I want to work for Tesla. I want to go back, um, but we'll see what happens. Wendy Mills, Time Warner Cable News.